I want both of you to tell me this kid went through a real transformative moment in the friendship with his black friend, Johnny. So tell, tell me about that, um, Jeremy. Tell me how the father deals with that issue. Well, I think James is, James is interested in creating, uh, I think, situations where difficult choices have to be made. Uh, in, in a sense, these sort of Gordian knots that we find ourselves in, uh, where class and race are enmeshed, and these are sort of insoluble choices. So this father is forced to a, a, a crossroads moment where he has to choose, uh, essentially, to protect his son and his son's future and safeguard his son's future at great personal cost to him and to his conscience and to his integrity. At the same time, sort of mapped against a moment where the country, the United States, began to lose its integrity in the sense of being whole and undivided and its moral compass in a way. And so I think what's profound about the film is the doubling quality of the Armageddon time within this nuclear family and within uh, the society at large. So, so James, I want to ask you about that and also the significance of the title Armageddon Time. But your experience with, you know, your black friend that, that, that is the central nugget of, of a good deal of this film. Yeah, one of the things that was very important to me, though, was to express that there are no solutions, that it's not like this taught me a lesson and I turned out to be a terrific guy because of the lesson. In fact, quite the opposite was the case. Uh, I felt myself thrown into a state of cognitive dissonance. Uh, frankly, I've never really emerged from that because you don't get closure, you don't get catharsis. These things don't exist. What happens is you get an, a feeling that the world is ever more complex and that history is layered like an onion. And the more you peel away from it, you never get at the core. So I didn't want the film to present a problem that it answered. It's uh, not a lesson that I learned at all in my life, a friendship that I lost, but it had only uh, profoundly complex implications for me. So I, I, it, it's, it's a history and it's a memoir, but it's an open book 